Welcome to Research Business Daily Report. It's made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform Patreon.com. At Patreon.com forward slash RBDR, you can find out how a little bit of support on your part can go a long way in enhancing our video series. I'm Bob Lederer. London's Guardian newspaper reported the first instance of a physician, in this case a Dutch surgeon, who won the right to be removed from a Google link to a website that serves as kind of an unofficial blacklist of doctors who've been accused of medical negligence. Now, this physician had initially been suspended, then conditionally suspended and placed on probation, but was still allowed to practice. Google and a Dutch privacy watchdog fought attempts to have links to the website removed, but a district court in Amsterdam said the website information, although correct, was incorrect in allowing her to be included on the list because it inferred that she was unfit to treat patients, and that was not at all supported by the disciplinary panel's findings. The surgeon's attorney said the ruling was groundbreaking because it ensures that doctors will no longer be judged by Google on their fitness to practice. We rarely touch on a second story on RBDR, but we wanted you to know that on Sunday morning, Kantar CEO Eric Salama was stabbed near the heart by an assailant who was attempting to steal his car in London. The 57-year-old Salama is okay. He was transported to a local hospital where he's said to be in stable condition, recovering from a punctured lung. It's described as neither life-changing or life-threatening. Regardless, our thoughts, prayers, and best wishes and hopes for a rapid recovery go out to Eric. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform Patreon.com. As many of you may or may not know, RBDR is produced thanks to the interest and the support of those who watch our daily news videos. And we want to give a big thank you to one of our existing patrons. He generously decided to double his monthly pledge in 2019 because he said our videos had made a very positive mark on his business last year. Patreon supporters, many of them, tell us over and over again that they regularly pick up something of worth in their RBR viewing. And we trust that's true for many of you out there who have not yet spoken to us. We will report RBDR for 45 weeks in 2019, meaning there's a potential huge chest of valuable information coming your way. And as a result, we're comfortable asking you to visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR where you can select a level of patronage that suits you small, medium, or large. Have a great research day and rest of your research week. Please stay warm this weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.